All right, guys, welcome to your 13th video. And in this video, I got some good and bad news. Now, the bad news is we need to make two more CSS files before we can start coding on the actual register PHP page. Now, the first CSS file is forms.css. So let me go ahead and import that, even though we didn't create it yet forms.css and what this is going to do is kind of that second bit of good news I'm going to teach you guys how using CSS you can create awesome amazing looking forms with all sorts of neat interactive features where it give you nice hints whenever you roll over and uh, so that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial and aside from that the next thing that we need to create is a register.css page now this register.css page is basically the main CSS page is the styling for the main website and the forum CSS page is the styling for the main forms. However, there are four or five things that make this register page a little bit different. So in that CSS file, it's only going to be like three things. It's going to take like four minutes to do. We just need to overwrite some of these things. But anyways, you'll see that later on. The first thing we need to get started on doing is creating the forms.css page how to make this form look amazingly pretty so let me go ahead and copy that name forms.css whenever possible copy and I'm just gonna save this file as CSS forms.css now the first thing that we want to do is we want to work on the labels now the labels are this section the username email password and if I go ahead and hover over these elements you can see a couple things first of all the labels are longer than they appear and they're kind of text aligned to the right hand side so before each input element you got that label so let's go ahead and style that right now so label and the first thing I want to do is display it display as a block now the next thing I want to do is I want to float that to the left hand side now of course for just uh, visual purposes I'm gonna add a font weight of bold just so it stands out and I also want to add a margin right of about 10 pixels now the reason for this is because I don't want this input section but it right up against this because it look a little funny so I want to give it a little bit of spacing so that's why I did that so aside from this as you can see whenever we hover over this the entire um, box the text is right aligned and that's to just make it line up with the input box instead of having it way over to the left hand side because that will look a little funny so in order to do that just go ahead and put text align right and now I want to give this an overall width of 120 pixels now the next thing I want to do is I want to change the line height now the line height is basically uh, the vertical spacing up and down of the lines and let me just go ahead and move this to 25 pixels and that's going to give you a little bit of a uh, vertical spacing rather than the default now for the font size again this is all uh, self-explanatory stuff 15 pixels make it a little bit bigger than the default text the color since our background is blue we of course need a white back or excuse me white text to stand out and I also want to give it a text shadow now I want to put one pixel one pixel which moves it over and down one pixel each three pixels for the blur and for the hexadecimal 080808 that shadows great and there you go our label is fully styled and our final product is pretty much this username email password bolded looking pretty text line to the right we're good to go the next thing I want to do is style the overall form now I want to go ahead and I want to throw this into an ID or give it an ID of general form now the styling I want to do on this is basically what we want to do for the entire box now the first thing I want to do is I wanna not have all the elements directly butt up against the border I want to give it a little bit of padding of about 20 pixels and that just makes it you know well obviously it's pretty obvious the next thing I want to do is actually give it that nice blue color so in case you don't remember from the search box it's the same color a background of hexadecimal zero zero six six nine nine 
and now I want to change the overflow now the overflow is auto now what overflow means is basically if your content is larger than the box then how it's gonna pretty much if content overflows inside this box then what happens and uh, auto is just the setting that works the best for this now the next thing I want to do is I actually want to give this rounded corners just like we did the search box with a radius of seven pixels I want to do the same so the first thing I do is border radius and I think I hit the wrong key seven pixels now in order to make this compatible cross browser we need two more border radiuses one is for um, Mozilla Firefox Moz border radius and the other one for Chrome is WebKit so just like that and the last thing I want to do is if you can see just to make this a little bit more beautiful I want to give it a subtle shadow to make it look like it's popping out at you even more so in order to add a shadow this is what you do the standard eventually is going to be box shadow and that's what some browsers like uh, Internet Explorer I think adopted and I'm gonna give it a shadow of 5 pixels 5 pixels 15 pixels and just like it pretty much has the same settings as text shadow how far over how far down what do you want your blur to be and what do you want the color of the shadow to be now since this is on white we want it a little bit lighter than the text shadow and the perfect one for this is um oh wait I can't tell if it's I believe it's um, A O A O A O. It might be A zero A zero A zero. And uh, oh man, I can't remember. I remember A O A O A O. I embedded that in my brain, but uh, I can't remember if it's O or zero. I'll check on that and I'll let you guys know in the next tutorial. But anyways, we need to do the same thing um, for the different browsers, Moz, and also. WebKit. So now what this does is it add a box shout out. Wow, I really messed up that saying. It adds a box shadow on all the default browsers. This one does it on um, uh, Firefox and this one does it on pretty much everything else. Safari, Google Chrome, stuff like that. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause the video right now and um, I'm actually going to pick up in the next tutorial where I find out if this is A0 or AO. So actually if anyone knows just leave a comment in the uh, section below and in the next tutorial I'll just continue up where I left off. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.